Hey everyone, this is Bjorkman from The Long Wait. We've been out of touch lately on the YouTube channel because of uh, a lot of stuff that's been going on. Um, I, for me, I just moved into a new house and uh, set up a new studio, as you can see here. And I also got married, so I've uh, been doing a lot of personal stuff in the last <laughs> month or so. So uh, let's get back to business here. The last time we we saw each other we were talking about perfect pocket and i wanted to talk a little bit about the guitar recording so i have a little slideshow here and i wanted to show you basically what we did with the guitar recording both acoustic and electric guitars however i will probably re-record some of the electric guitars um, just want a kind of a different sound to it. Uh, we didn't spend a lot of time in pre-production trying to iron out the concrete parts to it. So it's um, it's not as perfect <laughs> as I want it to be. So we might do that, but I wanted to sh show you the recording chain and all that anyway, just so if you can learn something from it. So I recorded these guitars at St. Cecilia Studios in downtown Tucson, and I used the Neotech preamps in room B. And I think I used just the high pass filter and no other EQ than mic placement in the acoustic guitar recording. And that went into a DBX 160 XT compressor with a 3 to, po 3 to 1 ratio and a few dB of gain reduction. And then I actually recorded both the acoustic guitar with a mic on the 12th fret, which is the sweet spot. And I also recorded my acoustic guitar amp at the same time. I used the Mojave MA200 vacuum tube condenser on the acoustic guitar. And then I used the AKG 414 on the amp, as you can see in the picture here. And it took a while to tweak the settings. I did a lot of EQing on the amp itself. And I honestly can't remember if I did anything on the actual preamp, but I don't think so. If anything, it was probably uh, cutting in the mids around 800 or so. And then the electric guitar recording was a uh, Fender Telecaster into the Vox AC15. And I used the Sennheiser MD421. Um, this is, we call it the whale in Iceland because it kind of looks like a whale. But I don't know if anybody else or any other uh, nationality calls it that. But that's what we put on the cone of the amp. And then I use the cloud microphones ribbon on the room sound. And I'll let you hear that in a little bit. And then you can see the uh, microphone positioning here. And that's where it was in the room, the uh, cloud microphone. And then I'm just going to let you hear a little sample of everything here. The, this is the acoustic guitar with just the Mojave mic. And then this is the acoustic amp. And mind you, it obviously sounds like an amp and it sounds kind of bad on its own. But combined with the actual acoustic guitar mic, it sounds kind of different, uh, kind of a unique sound. And then we have the whale guitar here. Uh, and like I said, might try to re-record this, not 100% satisfied with the sound. And Ty has also expressed some interest in re-recording the drums. So we'll either finish this song and release it as is as a demo, or we'll do something with it, but whatever. So here's the whale guitar. <laughs> These are both patched through to the compressor, I think, as well, just like the acoustic guitar. And this is the cloud ribbon mic. And 
this is how it sounds together. <laughs> So that's uh, how those guitars sound. You can hear how it adds a little bit of ambience, room sound, the uh, it, with the room mic, and uh, and the whale guitar on its own is kind of bright. But it is, after all, a Telecaster into a Vox, and it just kind of inherently sounds a little bright. So uh, I wanted to show you how we did this just to give you a little audio example and kind of get into the groove of things of uh, making our uh, videos again. So I hope you like that. I hope you learned something from it. And um, if you have any questions, let me know.